hydrated will affect your physical ability.
Now! Screwed us! Seth betrayed us! He's taken Chris hostage. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I can't believe I gave him the chance to... Damn it! Don't blame yourself, Reeve. You did very well indeed. Bastard! That's close enough! Someone might get hurt. Reeve... I'm sorry. What's your game anyway? What could you possibly gain by doing this? You'll find out soon enough. All you need to do is stand back and watch. Okay, Virgil. Your turn. Activate the wormhole transporter. Destination. Base camp. We cannot accept that order. <laughs> That's AI for you. You don't care what happens to this child, do you? Activating transporter. No, we can't. We can't endanger the entire crew just to save Chris. It... Activating. Good. Now come with me, Virgil. There's something else I need from you. Understood. Wait. Our actions in this matter have been irrational. Just go along with it. We have to do what he says. Been paying attention, partner? Meet me back at base later. Become one of us. If you do what I say, I'll release the boy. But you better come alone. If I see anyone else, I'll kill the boy right then and there. Got that? You heard the situation, Captain. Get back to the FOB. the long face, Chris? You scared of dying now all of a sudden? That stench. You're just like I was when I ended up here and gave up on living. That's the stench of despair coming from you. You're right, you know. I won't live to see 20 with my disease. If you're going to kill me, you might as well just do it. You poor child. But you needn't worry. Simply join us, and you shall despair no more. You keep saying us. Who's us? You're working with others? Indeed. We are everywhere. We are very well acquainted. Don't tell me. Yes, the Wanderers. But there is more. What you call the dust. That is our true form. A calm, sophisticated intelligence. Far more evolved than mankind. That is who we are. The Dread Dust! Dread Dust? What is that exactly? We began as an invention of your world. Medical nanomachines. We possess the ability to absorb the properties of any kind of matter. But as our numbers grew, we started to develop new traits. Those of a colony. These included infecting intelligent life, producing a resonance effect, and generating energy. The energy you've been using to generate your wormholes. That is created when we coalesce and crystallize. Surely no one is more aware of our magnificence than you. Oh no. But Seth, unlike other wanderers, a substantial part of your human personality appears to remain. Why is that? It was determined that this would be the most effective avenue to achieve our goal of endless propagation. 
It certainly was when it came to bringing the majority of the Charon Corps into the fold. How could you do such a thing? Such a thing? Child, our physical forms have no individual intelligences of their own. Not in the truest sense. The dust has been dispersed into the atmosphere. We continually send and receive information with one another. This enables us to exist as a colony with one will and one intelligence. So you see, it is a wonderful thing. For when there is only one will, neither confrontation nor conflict can occur. There is no greater form of companionship. But sadly, there is hardly anyone or anything left in this world to join us. That is why we've turned our sights to yours. Our arrival will bring the peace mankind has yearned for for 10,000 years, yet has failed to achieve. That cannot be called peace. You have been poisoned by the humans, Virgil. AIs like you two should be on our side. But it looks like no amount of talk is going to convince you. So we're just going to have to take the information we need. What? Where? Did AI network intrusion, uh, uh, anomaly detected. Virgil! Ugh. Ugh. Stupid legs. Don't you try to move. <laughs> Finally, the wormhole control technology we've been waiting for. Now all that's needed is the power of Sahelanthropus. You're not gonna get it. What? You're not gonna get it because the captain's gonna stop you. Been looking forward to this, Captain. Do you really think it's okay to let the captain go alone? I don't agree with this. It's like we're standing back and watching the captain die. Okay, well, how about this? There's more than one transporter around there, right? Somebody else teleports in somewhere besides base camp, then goes in and checks out the situation first. I thought of that too, of course. But I took a look, and all the transporters besides the one at base camp have been locked down. Seth must have ordered Virgil to do it. The way things stand. It's all up to the captain. That's a real pickle you're in! Hey, hear that? How'd you get in here? Your security could use some work. A lot of work, actually. Of course, that's probably the least of your concerns right now. I overheard your little power. Seth pulled a fast one on you guys too, huh? What do you say I lend you a hand? How? I have a way to resolve your current predicament. I've got the transporter control program I prepared after the core was wiped out. Since Virgil had nothing to do with it, Seth won't be expecting it. Originally, I was going to use it to transport Saharlanthropus. But it looks like now might be the time for it. Transport Saharlanthropus? For what? To destroy the Lord of Dust, of course. That son of a bitch attacked us, killed a bunch of us. Thinking back on it, I bet you Seth was responsible for that. He tried to split us apart all along. Sahelanthropus's railgun is the only thing left in this place that can damage the Lord of Dust's shell. I was gonna use it myself, maybe help the others rest a little easier, you know? Setting aside whatever you have planned, We'd be grateful if you'd let us use this program. So who's gonna go with the captain? I'll go in ahead, check things out. If everything looks good, I'll get as close to base camp as I can. Once I'm in position, Captain, you distract Seth for me. Then I'm gonna put that bastard down. We gotta save Chris. And Virgil, of course. Reeve? Please be safe. This is Reeve. I've arrived near base camp. Come on through when you're ready, Captain. He won't know what hit him.